It's time to find out about the history of top K-pop artists and groups. And learn more about their hit songs and stars related to them. So get ready for a wonderful music journey with me, Lim. And me, Tasha, on Born to Rock the Mic. Hi, Tasha. Hey, Lim. You know, in the past, many people simply assumed that idol groups mm -hmm. aren't genuine artists and they're popular just because of their good looks. Mm -hmm. But these days, many idol groups, including idol bands, are proving themselves otherwise. That's right. There are many talented idol bands who have members that can't play the musical instruments, like FT Island and CM Blue. Right, and there are also many idol bands that debuted quite recently, like Let Apple as well as female idol bands such as AOA and Say Yes. Yes, people tend to underestimate idol groups by their preconceived notions and they should realize that we're actually quite talented in what we do. Yes, I agree. And today we'll focus on an idol band that we just mentioned earlier, right? That's right, so stay tuned to find out about the band that we'll focus on on today's Born to Rock the Mic. It is the original idol band FT Island with the leader and guitarist Choi Jung Hoon, main vocalist Lee Yoon Gi, bassist Lee Se Jin, drummer Choi Bin Hwan, and guitarist Song Seung Hyun. That's right, and they're one of the top idol bands in the industry right now, with many hit songs under their debut. And did you know that it's already been six years since their debut? Wow, right. And they actually released a special mini album titled Thanks yeah. To to celebrate their sixth anniversary. All the members took part in the music composition and lyric writing. Well, let's now take a look at FT Island's album starting with their first one. FT Island made their official debut with their album Cheerful Sensibility in June 2007. And they were in the spotlight as a young band that played musical instruments. Back then, there weren't many bands that played musical instruments, and FT Island added a refreshing air to the K-pop scene with their music and had mass appeal. And their first album actually became a smash hit, right? Right, four tracks from their debut album caused a huge sensation and they became huge stars. The title track, Love Pains, was characterized by the mature vocals that impressed all the listeners and it was hard to believe that the members were in their teens. This song reached number one on various music programs which took everybody by a complete surprise. Well, another track on their album, Thunder, also ranked at number one. Now, it is rarely the case for an artist or a group's debut album to be so successful, but FT Island managed to produce four hit songs under their debut album. They even did something else that was unprecedented, which was producing four music videos for their album tracks. They filmed amazing music videos that were like feature films for their song Thunder, A Guy Takes His First Love to the Grave and Only One Person. The members left a strong impression not only as musicians, but also showed their acting skills in the music videos. Well, did you know that Lee Hong Gi was really famous as a child actor? Alright, he starred in the youth drama Magic Kid Mystery, which aired from 2002 to 2004. With years of acting experience, he gave an amazing acting performance in the music videos and received a lot of praise for it. FT Island surprised everyone by deciding to go to Japan to study music. And that was when they were receiving a lot of love and gaining a lot of popularity at that time. So they went over and came back and released their second album. Their second album showed their growth and maturity as musicians. And with the title track After Love, which had a magnificent sound created by a 60-piece orchestra, they reached the top of the charts once again. The road seemed really smooth for FT Island until one of the members, Owen Bin, decided to leave the group. Right, so they recruited a new member, Song Seung Hyun, as his replacement and embarked on a brand new journey. And through their first mini album, Jump Up, released in 2009. The title of the album, Jump Up, showed that the group was ready to jump up to a whole new level. And the title track, Bad Woman, tucked at people's heartstrings and received a lot of love as well. FT Island, who have been loved for their rock ballad songs, underwent a transformation for their third full-length album. That's right. They returned with an upbeat song, Just In Time For Summer. And the title of the song, Hope, was a crossover between electronic and rock music. The music video was also shot under a very cheerful concept as well. It was about how the members of FT Island get electrocuted during practice and this incident takes them to the past. Mm, this makes me wonder, Tasha, if you could go back to the past, then when would you want to go back to? 
When will I want to go back to? Well, um, I think I want to go back to when I was five years old. I right. mean, people in general, you know, they don't have worries or they don't think, they don't have stress at all at that time. So I think that is a great age to go back That's to. That's great. What about you? Uh, I want to go back to when I was five too, but I want to go back when I had my U.S. tour with my group. Oh. It was such a great experience. Right. Cool. Well, I'm just content just by imagining it. And since it won't happen in reality, uh, maybe it would, I don't know. But anyways, getting back on track, FT Island, who delighted everyone with their transformation for I Hope, showed a new side of themselves through a unit activity. Members Choi jong Hoon, Lee Jae-jin and Choi min hwan formed a unique group called FT Triple. And Lee Jae-jin, who's the basis of the group, became the main vocalist and impressed everyone with his singing talents. That's right, he didn't really get to show his amazing singing skills before because he only was a lead singer. But imagine everyone's surprised when they first heard him, right? So Tasha, can you think of er anyone else who impressed everyone with their hidden talents? Well, oh yes, I was really surprised when I heard Dong Woo sing when he was part of the hip-hop unit Infinite H. I mean, I knew he could rap really well, but I didn't know he could sing so well too. What about you? Um, do you know the group Dorajo? Mm -hmm. Well, they're known to be really hilarious, yeah. right? But I heard Lee Hock sing very seriously mm -hmm. and that totally blew me away. Wow. So I would say, you know, yeah. Well, I hope many other singers get to show off their hidden talents in the future. While the three members are busy promoting their album as FT Triple, main vocalist Lee Hong Gi resumed his acting career. He starred in the drama Your Handsome Witch, became a huge hit all over the world. He played a character named Jeremy, who was similar to him personality wise. Yes, and thanks to this hit drama, Lee Hong Gi gained immense popularity all over the globe, and FT Island became highly sought after overseas as well. And they went over the Asia tour and expanded their fan base as well. FT Island showed their growth and maturity as musicians with their fourth mini album. The title track Severely was about a man who had to let go of the woman he loves and it swept the number one spot on various music programs. Did you watch the music video? You know he sacrificed his life for the woman he loved and it was so heartbreaking. Yeah, I know. And I heard that you're going to sing this song for us today. Yes, I am. And I hope you guys like it. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, that sounded so sad. Thank you. And I think that this is such a perfect song to listen to during the fall time. Exactly, perfect song. Well, getting back on track, after receiving huge amounts of love with Severely, FT Island returned with their fourth album, Five Treasure Box. The title track, I Wish, which had a western pop sound with a mass appeal, received an explosive response from the audience, as people in love found really relatable. So as you see, FT Island has had n numerous hits and now they're considered as one of the senior idol bands in the K-pop industry. Yes, and they recently released their special album, Thanks To, to commemorate their 6th anniversary. Well, they have shed off their youthful image and are now back with their ma mature and masculine side. And people who have listened to their new song, Memory, have given positive reviews saying that their live performance is amazing just as I expected. This song was written by Lee Hong Gi and it's fantastic. I hope FT Island continues to set great example and gain huge success as an idol band for 10, no, 20 years from now. And they're really busy these days promoting their album in Korea and their concert tour in Japan. So I really hope that they'll take good care of themselves and continue to present great live performances. Now why don't we take a look at one of their music videos? Sure, let's take a look at the music video for a memory with a beautiful piano melody and intense guitar sound. So, here we go! They all look really amazing in the music video, don't they? Mm -hmm. Well, F FT Island, congratulations again on your 6th anniversary and I wish you continued success. And now it's time for us to ask you a question about a K-pop star. 
and you'll get to enjoy a nice music video at the end. It's time for K-Pop Quiz. So there's a prize for one of you who gets the correct answer, so listen closely. Tasha, what's the question? Okay, today's question is really difficult, so listen carefully. K-Pop stars actually form social clubs with one another as a way to build friendships. FT Island's Lee Hong-gi and Choi Jong-fun are in the social club with Kim Hee-chul, Chang Geun Sok, Sam-di and Mithra Jin. So what's this social club called? Oh my goodness, that's a, that is such a hard question. Yeah. Can you give us a hint? Well, um, it's a term that's short for slightly psychotic but more attractive as time goes by. Oh, that's such a hard question. I'm not sure, but hopefully the fans of FT Island knows it. Well, where should our viewers send in their answers, Tasha? Go to our Arirang TV homepage to leave us your answers and don't forget your feedback and song requests as well. So Tasha, what's the last music video for today? It's Mr. Simple by Super Junior with member Kim Hee Chol who belongs to the same social group as Lee Hong-gi and Choi Jong-hun. Alright, then let's say goodbye for now. Bye! Bye.